Okay, so today, it's first day back in the shop in a very long time. Um, there's a guy in a chat room that I sit in, the Wood Whisperer IRC channel, who uh, decided to write a height map CNC program. So basically it takes a, an image, grayscale height map, and says white is the very top surface and black is the very deepest cut. and so you kind of take an image that has a bunch of that goes black and white, and it makes a toolpath to have it cut out or engrave the 3D pattern, usually 3D pattern. Um, today is the first run for Matt's uh, CNC program, and we're going to see what the resultant G-code does to my particular machine. Um, before I do, I have to turn the machine on and go through all that stuff. But once I get it set up. I'm going to just film it and see what happens. So here's the program we're running. Um, it looks like an S right now. That's the roughing code. I've got my Z, X, Y, my X, Y, and Z is all set to zero. <coughs> Suffice to say, I have a program loaded for the roughing toolpath. I am two and a half inches above the surface of my work because I want to see how well it does before I put anything at risk. So I'm going to shut the router off. Yeah, the router's off, and I'm going to run this code and see how it does off router cutting, without the router cutting. So we'll just run it. Now let's try it with the router on. I want to make sure it kicks it in. So we control R to rewind, control W to rewind. And let's run it again. Nope. So there's a case. The router did not kick on. I need the router to kick on. I wonder why it does it for the vectric stuff. Noted. Stop. Let's start the router and let's make it cut. See what happens. All right, well, that was nice. Let's see what it did. All right, so there's the finished area. I'm going to zoom it in a bit, and you can see what it turned into. You'll see the various heights that were cut. The next thing we'll do is we'll run for 20 more minutes of final uh, finish pass. So let me get set up for that. So a few things, first, very cool, but there were some small things. You can see how there's a bit of a deep cut here. This was a, a line, we'll have to look at the drawing again just to make sure, but I think there was just a line where that was happening. So it might be cutting too deep for its size or something, but. All right, see right there, those are a couple of divots and I'm sure that's in the drawing, like the pixels are on the edge, um, but it tells a smaller, t a different, t a slightly, it tells of something else that's a challenge. Um, on this last line, this line was actually cut at the full quarter inch depth with my ball end mill. I don't know if you can see the radius that's down in there, but that is not, um, it's probably not safe for this, for these tools. The 
eighth inch tool was probably fine to have just that side side load but if this were done with a sixteenth inch tool that would probably have broken a bit um, especially when it got over here to this corner I tried to capture the audio of what that sounded like for me um, it did it a few times as it was cutting this final this final side as it hit this edge this corner now it was cutting on two sides, well, not two sides, it was cutting on more than just uh, tangent to one side. It was getting, you know, basically it was making a little pocket down in there. Um, that would have probably broken a 16th inch tool for sure. Um, so it's probably best if the, I don't know how you solve that, but if the roughing tool path went a little bit past to try to, go where this yeah that's weird i don't know how you do that mathematically um but this full depth pass is not not terribly safe um i know it also does it way over here so it, it may need a max depth um there are going to be some areas where that's just not a safe thing to do um but yeah so it's mostly good you can see the the flat spot where i didn't get my setup but on the curved areas all of this is very smooth. There's a little bit of ripple <clears throat> from the passes, but for the most part, it's pretty good. This ridging here, this little ridging here, is probably more due to the pixels on my edge of my image. I'm not sure, but you'll see there's like some some ridges around here, some, some of that. So I'm not quite sure if that's a source image issue or learning how to use it. Um, deep down in here, where it got pretty deep, you can see there's a shelf right there um, it drops pretty fast right there and I think I'm gonna have to look at my image again but I think that's due to a dark line a dark black line right there that um, caused it to want to go deeper um, but overall in this right here is a little bit of leftover from the roughing I think this little shot right there that see that shadow um, I think that's probably related to my not getting this zeroed properly um, this only amounts to maybe at most a 30 seconds. So I'm not sure how much uh, can be done in software for that. I think I just have to get my zero set properly. Um, but otherwise, pretty cool, I think. Anyway, there it is.